Is the PAD procedure that you do surgery? What does minimally invasive mean? What does image guided mean? So the PAD procedure that we do to open up the arteries in the leg and restore blood flow to the legs is not surgery in the traditional sense. You see, when most people use the word surgery, they, uh, they're talking about open surgery. You see, there's multiple types of surgery. If you look at the top category, that's surgery. Going this way is open surgery. And that's what most people think about when they use the term surgery. Open surgery is when you know a physician uses a scalpel and makes a large incision and does a relatively big operation. For example, having a joint replacement, a knee replacement, or a shoulder replacement definitely has to be an open surgery. Or somebody who needs a surgery to have a large tumor removed, open surgery, right? Big incision, general anesthesia, usually at least a few days, sometimes longer recovery in the hospital setting. Nothing wrong with open surgery, but it is a little bit more invasive, right? The other category of surgery is minimally invasive surgery. Now, most people don't refer to this as surgery. These are generally procedures. So in one category of minimally invasive, there's laparoscopy, okay, or arthroscopy. That's when you use a camera. So generally there's three holes, sometimes four small holes, and a camera is inserted into one, and instruments are inserted in the other holes. And the surgeon is able to do the minimally invasive laparoscopic or arthroscopic surgery through those holes. And he's watching what he's doing using the camera that's inserted in another hole. The other side of minimally invasive surgery or minimally invasive procedures is what we do at PAD specialists. It's minimally invasive and it's image guided. In our situation, we only have one small hole. It's about the diameter of a pencil or even smaller. Okay, it's usually in the groin to enter the femoral artery. So one small hole. How do we see what we're doing? We don't have a camera. We use image guidance. In our case, we use fluoroscopy. It's like real-time x-ray to see uh, what we're doing. And we also use some ultrasound. So we can see what we're doing inside the body while only making a very small hole and doing everything through that. The benefit of this is that uh, it's far less invasive. You don't need general anesthesia. It can be generally done with conscious sedation, just an IV and some sedation medication. You don't need uh, to be intubated. You don't need that breathing tube down your throat. The recovery is much faster because we're just going through a small hole. We're not, open surgery you know, incises through muscle, so the muscle fibers are disrupted. So it takes weeks, sometimes months, for those muscle fibers to heal. That's why recovery from open surgery generally takes longer because those muscle fibers have to heal. Nothing wrong with that. If you need open surgery, by all means. Um, if that's what you need to help you and get better, by all means. However, PAD or peripheral arterial disease can be effectively and safely treated by minimally invasive image guided means. One small hole in the groin, watching under image guidance, no general anesthesia needed, no breathing tube, no long recovery. You generally go home the same day and you can walk around and you're pretty much back to normal right away. So when minimally invasive image guided procedures like ours, the PAD revascularization procedure are an option, we strongly recommend you get that because it's more comfortable, there's less pain, there's less recovery, uh, there's less uh, risk associated with general anesthesia. So when you're a candidate, and most people are, most patients are, minimally invasive image guided is the way to go.